Okay, we come to a very important medicine which is thyroidinum. A very important medicine, why I am saying that? It is a medicine for today's modern day world because it is prepared from the thyroid gland and you know thyroid is a very big problem in today's world. But it is incorrect to say thyroidinum is only prescribed for thyroid disorders. Thyroidinum can be prescribed for a spectrum of manifestations which come under its domain. As you can see I mentioned it is a sarcode prepared from the th thyroid oh. gland or an extract made from the thyroid gland generally of the sheep or calf. So sheep or calf's thyroid gland it is prepared from that. Sheep or calf cough is cow, baby cow, CLF cough. So if you think of thyroidinum as a remedy, you see I have mentioned one of the major major characters, I would like you to go to the physical theme in a sense. One of the major characters or major characteristics of thyroidinum is maladjustment. So, what is maladjustment? Whenever a woman undergoes a change in her hormonal cycle, right? Whenever she undergoes a change in her hormonal cycle, which could be during puberty, which could be during pregnancy, which could be during menopause, which could be during lactation, right? These are the four times a woman undergoes a change in a hormonal cycle right? Puberty, pregnancy, lactation, menopause. You may club pregnancy and lactation together, but generally the hormonal changes a woman undergoes during these four phases in her life. And unfortunately for Miss Thyroidinum or Mrs. Thyroidinum, she is unable to adjust to these endogenous maladjustments. You understand it is an endogenous maladjustment because it is a change in her body and she is unable to cope up with it, she is unable to bear up with it. So she develops symptoms as a consequence of the maladjustment. And if you see in the hexagon I mentioned in the handout, there are so many areas where thyroidinous maladjustment can be expressed. If you see I have highlighted here number one on the top muscular maladjustment. So, there is weakness and flabbiness of the muscles. So, weak and flabby muscles. If you see vital maladjustment, heart rate increase. So, woman at menopause develops severe palpitation, tachycardia. A woman at pregnancy, she develops hypertension, tachycardia. You understand what I mean? Blood pressure is increased, pulse rate is increased heart rate is increased. So, vital maladjustment. And if you think of thyroidinum's miasm, it is predominantly psychotic, right? So, now if you think maladjustment, what is maladjustment as an etiology? In coordination, unable to adjust, unable to coordinate with the hormonal cycle. So, the cause is hormonal incoordination, which is psychotic. The reaction are psychotic manifestations. You understand what I mean? The etiology is psychotic. Why psychotic? Hormonal incoordination. And the manifestation is psychotic as well. And if you think in terms of vital, I shared with you heart rate increase. So, pulse rate is increased. <coughs> Blood pressure is increased. So, vital maladjustment during those phases of her life. Sexual maladjustment. She may have hypersexuality, increased sexual desire. Even she may develop hyposexuality, low libido. General tendency will be towards hypersexuality as it is a psychotic remedy, right? But both can happen in case of thyroidinum. So, puberty, pregnancy, lactation, menopause, she develops high blood pressure, she develops increased heart rate, she develops hypersexuality. You see, sexual incoordination, excessive desire out of proportion. You understand what I mean? Hormonal maladjustment, premenstrual syndromes. Now, if you 
think of those four major hormonal changes in her life puberty pregnancy lactation menopause now every month she is going through a hormonal change in terms of menstruation right and your thyroidinum is the medicine who suffers i repeat who suffers the most during her menses so ara before menses during menses she develops a lot of mood swings she lot of develops lot of premenstrual irritability she develops a lot of edema so all types of emotional and physical disturbances a woman may have around her menses your thyroidinum will definitely have that right so lot of premenstrual syndromes i am repeating this again this is the medicine who suffers the most during our hormonal cycle forget calcarea forget pulsatilla forget graphite is sepia thyroidinum is the leader of that premenstrual syndrome you understand what i mean so anything and everything she can suffer during her menses right that's why i said extreme mood swings around her menses extreme irritability extreme breast heaviness breast tenderness right a lot of dysmenorrhea so all types of hormonal incoordinations she develops around her periods if you see physical obesity so after pregnancy gained a lot of weight not losing weight after pregnancy diabetes mellitus has started she is not losing it after menopause she has become obese not losing the weight right so physical incoordination can develop even that can be on the other hand as well she may become emaciated as well right so it's not thyroidinum only covers one pole it can cover the other pole as well but mostly because of its psychotic predominance is psychotic you remember is excess so it will cover that phase where she becomes obese where she becomes gains weight you see so many people gaining weight after pregnancy not being able to lose it even with diet even with exercise thyroidinum may come to the rescue gaining weight after menopause not being able to lose it thyroidinum may come to the rescue puberty menses started she has gained weight not being able to lose it thyroidinum can help and if you see physic emotional maladjustment temper tantrums so she was mild and soft or calm nature she became pregnant she delivered and she has become irritable temper tantrum has started after menopause temper tantrum has started a lot of anger a lot of mood swings have started so that's why i'm saying you see there is no system which is spared due to that hormonal incoordination every system of thyroidinum is affected as a consequence of that hormonal maladjustment you understand what i mean so that's the important area so i shared with you muscular maladjustment muscles are weak and lax i shared with you vital maladjustment in terms of high blood pressure high heart rate so those are increased i shared with you sexual maladjustment where the sexual desire may be out of proportion increased i shared with you hormonal maladjustment where she is having tremendous premenstrual syndromes physical mental i shared with you physical maladjustment gaining weight obese and i shared with you emotional maladjustment where she is getting very mood swings lot of irritability anger around the time of her menses around the time of her menopause around the time of pregnancy so you see she is suffering a lot a lot a lot due to that maladjustment now if you look here psychotic preponderance nodules and tumors goiter uterine tumors so all kind of growths thyroid thyroidinum can help that's why calcarea followed by thyroidinum is a very good chain right because it has the ability to cover nodules any breast tumors swelling of the thyroid gland so any types of nodules growths thyroidinum can help because it is psychotic in a patient who has those maladjustment she was absolutely fine post pregnancy she developed a breast nodule post menopause she developed thyroid disorders so you will see so many people coming to you post pregnancy i was diagnosed with hypothyroidism post menopause i have been diagnosed with hypothyroidism so you see hormonal mal adjustment you understand what i mean so nodules tumors goiter uterine tumors excessive obesity those are factors for thyroidinum i put here hypo hyperthyroidism in terms 
of the disease, but it can cover both. Thyroidinum is not a medicine for hypo or hyper, both it can cover, provided you get the symptoms in the background, right. If it has started post pregnancy, post menopause, you can give for either. That is why I said it can be obese, can be emaciated, right. You see altered development I have mentioned here, physical emaciation or obesity. They are generally obese by virtue of the psychotic miasm, but they can be emaciated as well. Mental, you see temper, tantrums, depression, lot of things can develop around pregnancy, menopause, puberty. She was absolutely fine age 10, age 11, menses started age 13 and now she has become really angry. She develops a lot of mood swings, she throws things common with so many young girls right vital low energy again very important energy was absolutely up to the mark post menopause low energy again good follow up to sepia if you think sepia post menopause weakness you have given sepia up to 1m 10m is improved to a certain extent but not finishing the case you help with thyroidinum so you see it's a follow up to most of the female remedies you have done calcarea it follows up calcarea low energy nodules, growths, it follows up sepia because of that low energy, because of that anger, temper tantrum. If you think we have done graphitis, you remember graphitis after menopause, weight, gain weight, so it can be follow up to graphitis as well. Because it is a sarcode, you may start the case with that sarcode, you may end the case with the sarcode, right. And thyroidinum is a useful medicine for both, you may start or you may end with thyroidinum. If you go down characteristics, very important for thyroidinum, we are chilly patients, thyroidinum is generally chilly, that is why I said it is a good follow up to calc, graphitis, sepia, all chilly medicines, right. Desire sweet is very important for thyroidinum, chilly desire sweet, three medicines, chilly patients, desire sweet. Lycopodium, another, calicarb, this is sweet, calicarb, calcadia carb as well, calcadia likes, likes equal desire for sweet, salty, sour, right. So calicarb, calcadia carb, lycopodium as well. So you see, chili, desire sweet, weakness and anemia, so the weakness is quite important for thyroid numb, debility, low energy. That is in the background. Puffiness and edema, another very important feature. He looks puffy, looks edematous, right. Post pregnancy, she develops, during the pregnancy, she had developed the edema, but even after the pregnancy is over, the edema is not going down, the water retention is not going down, right. During menopause, she develops high blood pressure, along with that, she develops edema, which is not going down. So, you see, edema is again the factor. But you see at the background of everything is again the maladjustment, those four stages in her life when she develops these symptoms. She will tell you every month before my menses I developed water retention, my whole body swells up. That is another very important feature of thyroidin. Right? Aggravation during menses, I shared this with you, men, men's during, you know they will say, tell you I really hate that time of the month when I have my menses because all my things flare up, I cannot go to work, I have to stay at home, I cannot go to school, I have to stay at home. So it is the worst time of my life when I have my periods, right. So that is very, very important for your thyroidinum. You see weakness wants to lay down, easily fatigue. You see that is why I am saying good follow up to sepia because sepia can have the debility, sepia can have that weakness, lethargy wants to lie down. Good follow up to graphitis, remember any carbon has got a lot of debility, a lot of weakness. So good follow up to graphitis, good follow up to calcarea, why calcarea? Lethargic always calc, right. Good follow up even to calicarb, because calicarb, you remember all kelis have got weakness, cali is edematous, right. So remember these, how many you got? Calc, calicarb, graphitis, sepia. So it is a very good follow up to these four remedies because 
all of them can have the weakness all of them can have the low energy most of them have the edema and almost all of them suffer during their menses right so weakness debility is very important so a chili patient who likes sweet who has lot of puffiness and edema which can develop after that event in her life or which can develop every month during her menses concomitant nausea and vomiting with any chronic complaint it's a wonderful wonderful medicine for vomiting during pregnancy you know you'll get some patients who will tell you just morning sickness nausea but your thyroidinum is vomiting so much that she ha- every pregnancy she is admitted in the hospital with iv is so much excessive vomiting again if you think morning sickness is a common phenomena of pregnancy every woman is able to counteract that but unfortunately the hormonal maladjustment she is not being able to adjust to that she gets severe vomiting and you can give thyroidinum as an acute in that state as well for excessive vomiting is mentioned by a very good indian homeopath about uh, there's a book on nozodes and he mentions that wonderful for acute excessive vomiting during pregnancy we call that as hyperemesis gravidarum no just even 30c 30c is better during pregnancy try and avoid very high potencies 3200 limit up to that and it will work very quickly you understand not nausea i'm talking about severe vomiting especially severe vomiting and thyroidinum can develop that as well also very useful medicine for vomiting in infants you know because that hormonal maladjustment of the mother has been transmitted to the child so immediately after birth few weeks few months after birth they are having excessive vomiting and the mom gives you a history that i had severe vomiting during my pregnancy i had eclampsia during my pregnancy you know eclampsia is like edema of the legs high blood pressure so the mom had all sorts of difficulties during the pregnancy and now the baby has been born and he is getting severe vomiting so that mal adjustment of the mom during pregnancy is reflected in the young infant and you can give it for the infant as well especially if you get that kind of like every trimester whatever complications can happen thyroidinum will get those complications she will get the morning sickness she will get the edema she will get the hypertension she will get the blood sugar so everything what can go wrong during pregnancy thyroidinum can have that you understand what i mean so she suffers a lot even during her pregnancy if you see here maladjustment strain during some particular period of development puberty pregnancy menopause so whenever there is strain she is not being able to adjust to that mentally intellectual dullness other than that i shared with you there can be mood swings there can be temper tantrums right vital enlargement or dwindling of the breast the breast may enlarge the breast may dwindle after pregnancy after menopause so dwindling of the breast even emaciated flat breast you can think of thyroidinum as well you understand what i mean sagging becomes small after menopause right low energy again i shared with you that's very important for thyroidinum energy becomes very very low that's why good follow up to kali good follow up to calc good follow up to sepia physical if you see stunted development emaciation or obesity i shared with you they can be emaciated they can be obese amenorrhea or scanty menses history of repeated habitual abortions that is also important for thyroidinum when you go say a woman who has come to you is 43 44 when you go back to a life history she will tell you she had three or four habitual abortions just mm. abortions why again hormonal maladjustment her hormonal cycle not being able to adjust history of habitual abortion the one pregnancy she had she had severe vomiting she had lot of high blood pressure she had edema of the legs she developed blood sugar after that 
So all kinds of complications she started with her pregnancy or she started with her puberty. So history of excessive abortions can also be a factor for thyroid gland. Also you think of a woman who had two or three abortions and she's trying for a child, you can think of thyroidinum as well, right? To correct that discretion of maladjustment, right? She'll tell you first three months, I have, I have had the abortion every eighth or ninth month, I'm sorry, eighth or ninth week I, have, I, I had the abortion and she, she'll give that severe morning sickness, severe vomiting every time, right? So that history of repeated pregnancy loss with hormonal maladjustment and she will also give you the history that during my mens during when my ha I have my menstruation it's very painful I have a lot of breast tenderness I have severe swelling of the legs so she is suffering during her menses even when she got the pregnancy she suffered she lost her child so that in that way your third will help to correct the dyscrasia as well of repeated pregnancy loss. You see, it's such a valuable medicine, so many areas in today's world it can be prescribed for. It's unfortunately a very underused medicine. People don't use this so often. Right? Vascular maladjustment, validation arteries, low blood pressure. Low can be low blood pressure, can be high blood pressure. But remember the etiology, puberty, pregnancy, lactation, menopause. You'll find so many people telling you, during my menses, my blood pressure shoots down. I have hypotension, I get vertigo, I develop dimness of vision. So all these happen during my menstruation. So that's also a very important factor for your thyroidinum. You're with me? If we come to the mental essence, irritable, aggravation, least opposition. So they're very angry, they're very irritable, they cannot bear any suggestion, any criticism, they cannot bear it at all. Nature, you see, grumbling. Irritable, suspicious. Why suspicious? Psychotic. psychotic, yes. Psychotic nature. So they will be suspicious. Irritable plus, plus, plus before menses. If you have a thyroidinum wife, God help you. Go for, a, go for a trip when she has her menses. Right? Because she gets really cranky, it's really irritable, cannot bear anyone. Right, so very irritable, very impatient, and especially around her menses, they will tell you that I get this. So whenever you come across a patient who tells you I've got a lot of mood swings, I get a lot of, I'm very irritable. Make sure if she is in the menstruating group, ask this question: that Does it increase around the time of your menses? And if it is misthyroidinum, she will tell you, Oh yes, it does. It increases 120 times more than the other times. My mood swings burst out of the window. My irritability burst out of the window. So add that question in your mind whenever you ask someone about mood swings. You ask someone about irritability. And your third number will tell you, yes, it increases extremely around my menses. And you look at her. She obeys. You ask her, is she chilly or hot? She's chilly. What does she like? She likes sweets and she has some edema in her legs. Even on that basis, you can prescribe a thyroidinum. You understand what I mean? Fantastic for polycystic ovaries, such a common problem in today's world, right? Obese, they can be chilly, they can develop irregular menstruation, they can develop a lot of mood swings due to the polycystic ovaries and thyroidinum comes to the rescue. Many, 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 many cases, you can start with calcarea, you can go to thyroidinum. Or you can start with thyroidinum, you can go to calcarea. Right? You think of diseases, hormonal diseases with obesity. Think of hypothyroidism. Patient is obese, right? It can be chilly, right? 
maladjustments that can be there, hypothyroidism, think of polycystic ovaries. So these are two so common problems in today's world and thyroidism can come to the rescue so, so often. You with me? Temperamental disturbances during puberty, pregnancy or menopause or prolonged stress. You see that is the this hormonal maladjustment causes even a change in a constitution. I have seen like a pulsatile woman turn into a thyroidina because of that hormonal maladjustment. A menopause happens and she gets severe mood swings, she gets severe irritability. So that change in the cycle is an etiology for her is a causative factor for her and that is why I said it is an endogenous cause, it is not an exogenous exciting cause, it is an endogenous exciting cause inside from her body, right. What do you mean by whimsical? Whimsical. Yes, changeability, changeability, cannot decide, indecisive indecisive. So, that is about your mental factors. You see this is another very, very good factor. Past history of disease in the parent, child suffers from. Mother had eclampsia during pregnancy. You understand eclampsia? Eclampsia is high blood pressure along with that there is edema of the legs and the mum may have convulsion as well. High blood pressure with edema of the legs and mum may have convulsion, right. So, eclampsia during pregnancy, ex allergic manifestation, food, respiratory. So, she had allergic symptoms as well during pregnancy and you can add here another one is excessive vomiting during pregnancy. I have mentioned here toxemia of pregnancy but you can add vomiting during pregnancy. And the child suffers from you see two things I like you to highlight here please, nausea and vomiting, neonatal jaundice, these are two very good areas where thyroidinum can really help. So, think of neonates absolutely born, but the jaundice is not going away. Thyroidinum really, really helps, this is not coming from me, master homeopaths who have prescribed thyroidinum with very, very good results right. So, excessive vomiting of the newborn, excessive jaundice of the newborn which is not going away, thyroidinum can help provided you have that history in the mother that during her pregnancy she had first trimester excessive vomiting, second trimester high blood sugar started, third trimester she developed allergic symptoms, she developed high blood pressure, she developed edema. So, every three months she had suffer during her pregnancy and now the newborn which is born carries the imprint of the mother and develops that excessive vomiting. Again you see the manifestations in the child also psychotic, excessive vomiting, excess, psychotic, jaundice, high bilirubin, psychotic. So, the child also develops those psychotic traits which he has imbibed from the parent. You understand what I mean? So, that is one of the very important areas of thyroidinum. Also very interesting you see maladjustment in the pregnant woman, before and during pregnancy the mom had lot of menstrual irregularities, various obscure factors that delay to conceive and continue the pregnancy. She developed hypothyroidism, she developed diabetes mellitus which had started even earlier. And now the child is born with IUGR, IUGR is intrauterine growth retardation. So, the child's growth is poor inside the mother's womb and your thyroidinum can help in making the mother and healthy baby as well. So, even growth retardation thyroidinum can help as well to a certain extent. But my ma major indication I will say is in terms of pregnancy, is excessive vomiting during pregnancy, it really helps. Excessive vomiting in the child after birth, 
it also really helps. It can help to overcome those two acute conditions. Also jaundice, you can add that three. Are you with me? So those are important factors of a thyroidinum prescription. If you go to the constitution, I would like you to highlight please, physical makeup acts best on anemic obese persons rather than flushed plethoric subjects. So, who are anemic and obese, that is important and due to the anemia they develop the weakness. Obesity is very important, a state of puffiness and obesity is keynote, puffiness and edema. So, edematous appearance is quite important. Five polycrests who have edema other than thyroidinum. Kelly cup, very good. Apis. Apis smell. Burning, it can have it can have the edema. What else? Edema. Upper part emaciated, lower part dropsical, like a podium like a podium can have edema as well. Anything else? Edema, acetic. acetic acid is not a polycrest. Natmure can have edema. Retention, but it can develop edema due to the hypertension. Incoordination, salt. So, that is why it can develop the edema. Natmure can have edema as well. Right. Anything else? Um, yeah, that is it. Acetic acid, as you said, acetic acid can develop edema as well. Acetic acid. acid. Top 5 will be thyroidinum, calicarb, apis, lycopodium, and natmure. Very important. Polycrest, which have the ability to cover edema. Natmure can develop edema <laughs> because if you think of Natmure is the retention, uh -huh. yeah. the key word was retention, right? So, water retention, psychotic, they can develop the edema. The appearance is emaciated, yes, yes, yes. but they can develop edema as well. Oh, okay. okay. The state of puffiness and edema is characteristic. Myism, if you see here, deep acting psychotic remedy. Psychosis is the main myism for thyroidinum. It can have tubercular symptoms as well because of the mood swings. Mood swings is tubercular, right? Mm -hmm. Changeability. So, it can develop the tubercular symptoms as well, but mostly psychotic. So, that is about your thyroidinum. I would like you to go to this thyroidinum lady, very interesting. You got that? Page 27, thyroidinum lady. Abnormal aggravation of various complaints during menstruation. So, every complaint is worse during menstruation. I shared this with you. Painful inflammation of the joints during menses without any fever. So, joints get inflamed during menses, very interesting. I shared with you any symptom can be worse during menses for thyroidinum, before, during. Number D, early abortion and tendency to premature labor. So, there is not a mechanical cause, it is not like a cervical problem or there is any problem with her pelvis, it is like a hormonal cause which is causing repeated abortions and you find the patient to have severe mood swings during the menses. She has edema, she is chilly, she likes sweet. So, their thyroidinum is a very good choice. Are you with me? 
hysterical spasms and mental disturbances during pregnancy. So, emotionally, physically she suffers during pregnancy and labor. You with me? So, that is important for your third num lady. Third num pregnancy, tendency to premature labor or early abortion that is important. Premature labor or early abortion due to hormonal incoordination. Prevents repeated habitual abortions, very, very interesting. A woman who had pregnancy three times, every time she had an abortion, no cause can be found. Just mostly hormonal cause. History of repeated premature delivery and abortions. But you have to look at the constitution for a third prescription. That background has to be there. That every time she had the menses, she suffered symptoms. She has extreme mood swings. She is very irritable. So, that background has to be there in a patient who is having that habitual abortion. You understand what I mean? So, that is about your thyroidinum. We have a look at the pictures. Physical, you see emaciation or obesity, growths and tumors. So, okay, she can be emaciated, she can be obese, growths and tumors. Mental, temper tantrum, depression. Vital, low, low energy. Can you prescribe it for males? Yes, it is a useful medicine for undescended testes. So, that is the only hormonal maladjustment he can have and it is a useful medicine for undescended testes. Sometimes it can help to bring it down. So, up to say 6 years, 8, 7 years I will say max up to that. Thyroidinum can help. Again for that look at the mother's pregnancy history. You see there is a lot of hormonal maladjustments and that is reflected in the son as well. He is getting the maladjustment in terms of undescended testes. Right. The history like every case of undescended testes you cannot prescribe thyroidinum. It is not like that. Provided the mom had a history of excessive hormonal incoordinations during her pregnancy. We have oramet as well for undescended testes. Oramet as well. Pituitrine can have undescended testes as well. Uh, Pituitary, Pituitary gland. For like secondary core. Yes. No, no also undescended testes it can help with. It is a very difficult problem to be very honest, but thyroidinum can help, oramet can help to a certain extent and pituitrine as well. Okay. So, physical emaciation, growths, tumors, mentals, temper tantrums, vitals, low energy. You see characteristics, see the top picture, puffy, edematous, chilliness, desire sweet, weak and anemic, aggravation during menses, concomitant, nausea and vomiting. What is concomitant? What is concomitant symptom? No physiological or no pathological relation. Why are you laughing? <laughs> so that your memory is fresh. <laughs> How was the exam? Easy? <laughs> Good. So weakness, anemic, desire sweet, nausea and vomiting, those are important factors. Nausea and vomiting in pregnancy, nausea and vomiting even uh, in the child. You will some get some patients who have severe dysmenorrhea, along with that they vomit every month. Right? That is also a good indication for thyroidinum as well. You understand what I mean? 
excessive menstrual pain along with that they have severe vomiting due to the spasm and there also thyroidinum can work as well. Okay. Maladjustment, I have shared this with you, muscular maladjustment, muscles are flabby, vital maladjustment, heart rate increased, sexual maladjustment, excessive desire, physical obesity, emotional temper tantrums. So, those are there in the background. Psychotic preponderance, you see the color in the background is yellow, why it is a color of psychosis nodules and tumors, excessive obesity, thyroidism. Discontentment is important, that is a tubercular symptom, easily bored, easily dissatisfied, that is tubercular. You see, there is another good picture to denote the tubercular nature, grumbling, they do not like anything, dissatisfied with everything, that is also a feature of tubercular, uh, thyroidism. And you can get that feature again around her time of her menses. She gets bored, she gets dissatisfied every time her menses are there near. Right? Suspicious, as you know, is psychotic. Again, you see, we are ending with the word we started temperamental disturbances during puberty, pregnancy, menopause. Whenever she has a hormonal maladjustment, she suffers right. So, that is about your thyroidinum. You have to also I like to share with you a very interesting medicine is called folliculinum. Folliculinum is prepared from estrogen, right. We do not have that in the curriculum, but folliculinum is a medicine who suffers specially from exogenous maladjustment like HRTs, oral contraceptive pills, women who have been taking those things for a very long time and they suffer as a consequence of that. So, hormonal maladjustment if that is endogenous that is thyroidinum, hormonal maladjustment if that is exogenous that is folliculinum, F O L L I C U L L I N U M folliculinum is exogenous maladjustment. So, Hormonal replacement therapy, oral contraceptive pills, right? They have been on like they have been leading an artificial life because of the hormones from outside, and their folliculinum can come to the rescue. No, yes, it's prolonged and resulting in long-term complications. So, they can develop weakness, they can develop mood swings, they can develop irritability due to that prolonged hormonal maladjustment. The picture, is similar. picture is similar, emotional physical picture is similar, but here the cause is endogenous in terms of these four factors, but there the cause is a prolonged exogenous maladjustment. Like you, I have seen women who have taken say oral contraceptive pills for 4 5 years and after they have left even the pills their menses are very irregular, right? they have developed mood swings, they have developed obesity. So, all complications arising out of exogenous maladjustment. It is prepared from est estrogen, synthetic estrogen. So, you understand it is likes to be treated by likes. Folliculinum. There is a good article in the internet, you can read that. Uh, it is called folliculinum mist or miasm by Sheila Crazy. I will send that today in line then. Just have a read through that. No, this is potentized. Anything, 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 any type of exogenous hormones, polyculinum can help. Okay. Symptom picture is similar, but just the cause is different. Even you can say the cause is same, one is from inside, other is from outside. You are with me? Thyroidinum always start with 30, 200, do potencies if you are prescribing for the etiology. 30 followed by 200, because you are prescribing for the causation. 
and remember the chain. Chains are very important so as to remember Tharadhanam, Calc followed by Tharadhanam, Graphite is followed by Tharadhanam, Sepia followed by Tharadhanam, Kelika followed by Tharadhanam. Even you can get certain cases where you can prescribe Pulsadilla followed by Tharadhanam. Because in Pulsadilla you can get the changeability, you can get the mood swings. So in that way Pulsadilla can be followed up with Tharadhanam as well. But you understand Tharadhanam will be more irritable, more impatient, which is not there for Pulse. Alright, so that's about your thyroid. Very, very important medicine.